Hello everyone, and welcome back, finally, to some more Danganronpa 2. Last time, we started Chapter 4. Well, we've barely started Chapter 4, and we're about to head to the next island, so very excited to see what it has in store for us. Uh, let's continue, and uh, yeah, Chapter 4, here we come. So, obviously, so much has happened lately. Um, it has been a couple of weeks since I've last played this, because I've been sick, and I've just had other things uh, unfortunately taking priority but um we've got freaking mecho maru <laughs> still can't get over that i still can't get over that that's so wild um we're level 39 we didn't we get a new pet as well have we got a new pet yet not that i really care that much but it's uh oh it's it's nearly it's nearly hatching it's nearly hatching another pet that we can absolutely neglect Good stuff. Uh, but yeah, thank you for being patient for more Danganronpa. I don't know what we're going to get up to today. Probably just mostly exploring the new island. Um, unless we do manage to get through to some free time as well. Uh, well, that sun's bright, isn't it? Uh, in fact, we could probably just... Probably just fast travel over to... The... Central... Island, I guess. Uh, yeah, because we haven't actually gone to the fourth island, have we? No. Okay. Jabok Park. Which way do I go? Which way do I go? That's number three. That's number two. Keep going this way, then. Island number four. Ooh, what's it gonna be? What's it gonna be like? Are there gonna be any any more like obscure? Well, not really obscure movie references. I completely missed the uh, Until Dawn reference with the Titty Typhoon. Um, I think it's Titty Twister in that one. Completely, I've not seen that film in so long. Anyway, the mono beast that was blocking the bridge has disappeared all of a sudden. I've been wondering this for a while, but how is something as pathetic as Monomi able to defeat a mono beast? Yeah, there's. There's something fishy going on with that. We still don't really know if if Monami is in league with freaking Monokuma or, or what's going on. No, it'd just be a waste of time to think about something like that. I mean, we're definitely not going to find any answers here, so it's useless to think about things that are a waste of time. I've learned that much during my time here. You say that, but us being humans find ourselves doing it anyway, don't we? We worry about things that we can't control. We try to figure out things that are probably unknowable. Uh, as I walked across the bridge, I started to see the scenery on the new island on the other side. Is this an amusement park? That that would be a pretty accurate guess, I'm guessing. That's a lot of balloons. <laughs> I'm guessing those aren't actually real balloons. That's just for the effect, right? Because imagine the budget just constantly release a hundred balloons every five seconds into the atmosphere. I mean, that's Disneyland. I've never been to Disneyland. Never been. They've got a cute little train too. With a Monokuma face on the front. Wow. It's like this whole island is one giant amusement park. Oh god. It looks fun, amazing, exciting, thrilling. That just makes it look even creepier. Yeah. Yeah, knowing what we know, like, if this was just a regular-ass game where no murders had occurred, I'd be like, oh, sweet, I want to go on the Ferris wheel. Uh, shout out to my mate Matt, who's terrified of Ferris wheels. Uh, I would be, like, super up for this, or maybe not... I'm not the biggest fan of roller coasters. I, I think the Big Dipper is about as far as I'll stretch, uh, or the Caterpillar. But, um, yeah, this would be cool. It's even got a rainbow. Um, but, yeah, no, this this is just a, a facade. It hides many, many opportunities for people to be killed. Um, anyway, I'm yammering on. The music as well. What the frick? Okay, where are we going? Should we go right or left? Um, uh, we'll go right. We'll just keep going this- Oh! <gasps> oh, it's hatching! It's hatching! Whoops, I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. You can tell I've not played this in a while. Uh, here we go. Dude, dude, dude. It's Chibi Me! It's Chibi Me! Oh, look at it crawling around. 
Oh, that is quite cute. In about a day, you're just going to be encased in shit. I'm sorry. It's going to happen. Anyway, um, Horror House. Oh, God. And again, this is where we start the game of guess where the murder location is going to be. I can't wait. Maybe the horror house is too obvious. Let's check it out. Did that say sh- Did that say sh- That does say shit to me on it. Have we found shit to me's house? Is this where the pet lives? There's a creepy looking building that doesn't seem like it belongs in an amusement park. I mean, I love the, uh, I love the decorations. What's with all the apples, though? I mean, I, you, you bob for apples at Halloween. Is that- what it is? Anyway, Sonya is here, which makes sense. Fihiko's here. Um, is it supposed to be a haunted house? Yeah, I mean, there's definitely, like, a massive amount of blood on it. Is that supposed to be, like, a rocket that's landed in it? That's really weird. Not your typical theming for a haunted house. Sonya. Um. I don't really understand it, but this island certainly feels festive. Perhaps. If Yoko and Ibuki were here, they would have definitely enjoyed this. Oh, Sonya, you've just brought my mood down so far. Because I hadn't forgotten that they'd been killed. But I also, it wasn't present in my mind. Now I'm just like, oh man. Yeah, they would have liked this, wouldn't they? And of course, we said goodbye to Mikan last time. Thank you for, again, clarifying some of the things about her execution. I will say... So far, the executions have been a little bit lackluster to me, although I guess Pecos is pretty cool. Um, they've not been quite as like, oh my god, as the first games. Uh, they're probably very character appropriate, especially with Mikan not liking oversized things. It's a weird, weird thing to fear, but... Um, and, and obviously the arm and the, the injections with the giant needles and things, and, but blasting her off into space. Just a little bit weird. Also, we didn't see her die. We didn't see her die, so I'm going to uh, keep that in mind. Anyway, right, Fihiko. I don't like this. Hmm. Yeah. What the hell? What the hell is wrong with this island? Why is this here when we're forcing us to kill each other? It's quite the juxtaposition, isn't it? Dumbass. This is in such bad taste. Yeah, kind of is. Oh. It's Monami House. D did Monokuma put that on the front door? Because that is Monami's house, but he <laughs> it's just another a bit of abuse. The sign at the top of the building definitely says Horror House, but it's like, whatever building used to be here was converted into a haunted house or something. Yeah, a little bit slapdash. It, 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 he's just turned Monami's house into a horror house. It's great. <laughs> oh, she's so sad about it. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since he took away my magic stick, Monokuma has been doing whatever he pleases. I've been reduced to the role of unwanted child. My influence is weaker than it's ever been. And not just that, look at what they did to my house. <laughs> this is too much, there's nothing good about this at all. If this keeps up, history will remember me as the greatest character to ever become a one-shot punchline. Oh. Uh. Uh, Hajime, you were here- Wait, you were just saying that to yourself? Okay. You didn't notice until now? <laughs> How terrible of me as your teacher to cry in front of one of my students. You, you're not my teacher. I- <laughs> That haunted house over there, is that your house? It was, but Monokuma kept bullying me and it ended up like this. Ah, uh... uh, it was supposed to be cute. My house was supposed to be cute. I'm so sorry for your loss. You can't. I understand that you're interested, but you cannot go inside. Why not? <laughs> Even teachers have a private side that their students aren't- Well, now that you've said that, no, I do- I definitely want to go inside. Um... Also, you're a boy of a certain age. Um... Where are you- where are you going with this? If you come inside, I'll make sure I leave the door open halfway, otherwise my mommy won't shut up about it. Okay, so you're insinuating that your mother will think you've got a boyfriend. First of all, you have a mother? What? No, that's bullshit, right? She, 
she's just being weird, right? That's that is weird. Uh, what am I saying? It's just a uh, what if scenario, okay? Alrighty then. Anyway, this is Monomi's house. It's safe to say that we're not allowed inside. So it's a waste of time to stay here any longer. I should hurry and go somewhere else. You know we're going inside there at some point, right? You know, it's like the motel. We're going in there at some point, even if we can't right now. Um, yeah, love what you've done with the place, Monokuma. Uh, I can't really un uh, examine anything. Keep a lookout for any dolls, by the way. Because you never know. Is that a doll? It's not a doll. I'd hide a doll in the tree. You know what that reminds me of? That tree with all the red apples? Reminds me of Pete's dragon. Uh, yeah, I don't see any dolls, but that's not to say that there aren't any. Maybe they're hiding on one of the roller coaster tracks, I don't know. Anyway, I guess we'll leave. There really wasn't much to see there, to be honest. Nazumi Castle. I mean, look at the size of that place, right? How, how are we gonna... How are they gonna handle that? I'm, I think I'm going there last. Well, maybe we should just do it in order. Let's just do it in order. Nazumi Castle. Wow. <laughs> Is that a mouse mascot I see? Or more, maybe a... No, more of a rat. It's definitely a rat. Uh, the amusement park's castle. It's oh no, okay, it is mouse themed. There's a lot of different things I could say about this building, but I probably shouldn't say anything at all because we might get sued. <laughs> Hi again. Uh, what? Yeah! Mice are the only thing I can't handle. Oh, this this whole place is just to fuck with Monomi, isn't it? Monokuma set this whole place up just to make this, like, a living nightmare for Monomi. Who cares? Ooh, how exciting! Uh, you too? You don't like mice either? But they're scared of- no, elephants are supposed to be scared of mice. No. Well, we're siblings after all, teehee. Yeah. No, not mice! I don't like that. Wait, so what- wait, no. So- Why would you set this- Okay, I'm already confused. If you don't like mice, why did you set this up then? You did set this up, right? Unless this was just the way it was prior to... I don't know. I don't know. Mouse! Ah! <laughs> Not mice! They're gonna chew through my ears! It kind of looks like one is doing right now. What a couple of loudmouths. I feel like my stress level just keeps rising around them. Hey, it's Mako Maru! Sorry, Na Nako. Hi, dude. Oh, God. I'm just thinking of Honkai Star Rail. Beep, beep, beep. Hey, are you okay? There's a strange mechanical sound coming from your body. Maybe because he's a fucking robot now. No, I guess it's okay. Since he's a robot, it makes sense that he makes mechanical noises now. Can I just say, this is still, like, the fucking wildest plot development ever. It's insane. That sound means I'm feeling emotionally charged right now. Also, is he, does he need to shit anymore? I didn't even think about that. I, I see. Your body makes noises based on your feelings? Okay. I feel like that's going to be important. I feel like that's going to be important. <laughs> I love how happy he still is. Just now, I have activated a new function. New function? Are you serious? Is it flight? Can you finally fly? I think- I feel like Kazuichi... Like, he's- he's not even near Sonya right now. I feel like he's found a new crush. In the form of- 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 of Neko, because... Yeah, he seems pretty obsessed with him right now. Now then, prepare yourself! <laughs> I mean, he's- he's doing it for me. I don't need to voice act that bit, do I? I don't know what's funnier. The fact that he has a clock in his chest. Or the fact that it's an analog clock and not a digital clock. Is that a clock? That is a clock. He's got a giant clock. Uh, I'm able to sense the passage of time. I don't even need to look at clocks anymore. You can sense the passage of time. 
Okay. Again, I'm pretty sure that's going to be important. Whether it's training, meals, or baths, there's no doubt this feature is useful in a variety of situations. Yeah, I mean, we can all just look at a clock, though. It actually comes out of your chest. What are you, a cuckoo clock? Uh, oh, yeah, that is kind of... Well, kind of. The cuckoo comes out of the cuckoo clock. Anyway. Hold on. Hold on. I've missed that. A cuckoo clock. Don't compare me to one of those everyday clocks. Fool. This is a highly efficient radio clock. Radio clock? Ah. It's a type of clock that receives radio signals, so it can automatically update the time at fixed intervals. We've got a clock downstairs that does something similar to that, and it creeps me out every time it suddenly decides to spin the hands around to, like, readjust itself. Because I think, I think it's haunted. It's fucking creepy. Um, simply put, it's an extremely accurate clock. Okay, so not quite an atomic clock, but better than, you know, the wristwatch. Gotcha. Oh. That's right. It's a clock that will never slow down. It's even designed so that it cannot be adjusted. This is so important to the murder case. <laughs> I've become a time lord. All right. All right. Who? Who? You've become a... Who? I don't actually watch Doctor Who. I've tried many times. Can't get into it. I know I should... Someone should revoke my British identity card. Man... Well, even if it's, an, if it's an accurate clock, they didn't need to install it inside your body. What? What are you saying? I don't need to wear a wristwatch ever again. There's nothing more useful than this. Nothing more useful than that. Absolutely. That Monokuma, he's definitely toying with people's bodies. And Gundam's here too, by the way. Right, Neko, let's have a quick chat with you. <laughs> I'm a Time Lord. I'm able to sense the passage of time. You've said, you've said this, you've said this. You don't seem to be too bothered by the fact that a clock was installed inside you. This guy, when he became a robot, did his personality change too? I don't know, I feel like he's always been pretty upbeat. Um, Kazuichi? Oh my. This building is full of dangerous areas. I feel like I should say something about it. How do you know it's full of dangerous areas? Have you been inside? Wow, what a coincidence. I was just thinking the same thing. Oh. No matter how fancy it is, it's got nothing on Miss Sonya's castle. Oh yeah, I keep on forgetting she's a princess. After all, she's the real deal. Okay, so he's still definitely is a big fan of Sonya. Sonya is 100% pure princess who lives in a 100% pure castle. Don't s talk so confidently about a castle you've never seen before. True. She's never invited you to her castle. I know you'd want to. Uh, Gundam. Are you are your hamsters scared of mice as well? Um, hey, I was just wondering. You! Is a mere human going to offer his opinion to me, an overlord? Fascinating, fascinating, you fiend. If you flinch, you will die! I'll play your game, you rogue. Come, tell me. Try to satisfy my d four dark davis of destruction. Uh, that's right. Those hamsters could probably pass for mice, right? So maybe you can defeat Monokuma and Monomi with your hamsters. We do know that they have a weakness now. We've established this. How could it? I already told you. Hamsters are merely their temporary form. Okay. A fiend like you is incapable of imagining what would happen once they shed their transient guises. <laughs> Ignorance is horrendous. That's why it's only interesting to converse with humans once in a while. He gave some roundabout excuse that makes no sense, but my guess is he doesn't want to put them in danger. Which I can absolutely understand. Uh, let's check the door. I'm going to guess this is going to be locked. Sounds like it's locked. It's locked. Ooh, how exciting. Maybe a bunch of mice are pressed up against the other side of the door. Yeah, yeah just thinking about it is too awful. No, not mice! Mouse! Ah! <laughs> <The> no <laughs> Is this gonna be a recurring bit on this island? Because I'm I'm kinda loving it. Okay. It looks like we can't go in here. Hmm. Hmm. Already so many things that could be important later on. Right, I guess we'll leave. Um What else is there gonna be? 
A roller coaster. Oh wow, that was a cool transition. Oh my god. There's even a roller coaster here. Well, obviously, since it's an amusement park. Ah! Rawr, too bad. It's still under maintenance. The ride isn't intense enough yet, so I'm in the middle of powering it up like crazy. I don't think you need to do that. It's not like anyone's going to ride this anyway. I mean, I feel like Ibuki would have done. You know what I mean? I feel like Ibuki would have been up for that. Come on! Now, now, don't say that. I also prepared a prize for you. Oh, great. I can't wait. Is it another tote bag? You're planning to bait us with a prize again. Look forward to it, okay? <laughs> please look forward to it. Uh, anyway, please enjoy the other attractions first. I'll make sure to f I finish the maintenance by then. Hmm. For now, I should come back here after I've checked out the other areas. What am I going to do? I should think about that when the time comes. Oh, hi, Akane. How are you doing? Yahoo! She seems quite chipper. Uh, a roller coaster. Roller coasters are the only reason to go to an amusement park. There's nothing like a good thrill ride. Yeah, actually, come to think of it, as well as Ibuki, Akane would be the obvious choice to enjoy roller coasters. All right! Apparently, it's still under maintenance, but I'll be first in line to ride it as soon as it's fixed. Is someone going to die on this roller coaster? Because I've seen Final Destination 3, okay? Right, well, that's cool. Oh, yeah, it's still under maintenance. I guess I should come back. Okay. Okay. Nothing else to check out here, just monitors. And a doll! <laughs> no. <laughs> a little Monokuma balloon. I have so many coins, I should spend those. Well, we'll spend those during the free time. Uh, okay. Well, I am running out of people to actually gift things to. We're definitely going to be spending time with Sharky, though. Hopefully I can find another video game for her. Right, let's leave. Do -do -do. The Fun House. Oh, there was a program, kids program called Fun House. It was amazing. They had like go-karts and shit. Oh, man. I always wanted to go on that show. <laughs> oh my god. I'm just imagining a Thomas the Tank episode with Monokuma. Uh, it's like building a building out of a fairy tale, minus the creepy looking train. And Nagito. I don't really understand this concept. What kind of attraction is this supposed to be? It just takes you on a tour around the park, doesn't it? It's not that weird. Uh, train. It's supposed to be a cute looking train, but the design totally ruins it. Bro, ah! oh, welcome to the fun house. Fun house? Yeah. With this train I'm conducting, I'll I shall take you all to the fun house. Nonetheless, your body will be crushed asunder by then. There's no way I'm riding that thing. Rah! You'd never be able to ride it anyway. Hey, um You know, in order to go to the fun house, all of you guys have to ride this train. All of us. So if you want to try to go to the fun house, you gotta assemble everyone here. Nonetheless, your body crushed asunder by then. What's that supposed to mean? This obviously smells fishy. This is clearly a trap. I've decided I'm never going to ride this thing. Alright, I think it's time I headed over to the roller coaster. Is it? Is it already done? Because that was quick. Uh, Nagito. <sighs> Where are we supposed to find clues about the future foundation in an amusement park? Hey. How about you? Did you find anything? Like your school profile, maybe? I've found fuck all, mate. I've just been examining roller coasters and shit. Right, cool. Uh, I guess we'll leave. Is that all there is? I know there's never that many locations, so we can move back to the start now. We're back to the start. Okay, roller coaster time it is. Are we gonna ride it? Are oh, we gonna die? Oh, everyone's here. Yeah. Cool. Now, where do you guys like to ride on a roller coaster? Do you like being at the front, middle, or back? Because I feel like there's pros and cons to every one of those. Uh, I'm a bit of a coward, so going at the front is scary as shit. At the back, I mean, anywhere on a roller coaster is terrifying for me, but. Um, 
Yeah, anyway. Want me to tell you? Hey, Chiaki! I didn't see you anywhere else, so I was worried about you, but... Uh, hey, want to know something cool? According to Monokuma, we'll all get a treat if we ride that roller coaster together. I don't know if... I don't know if Monokuma has the same definition of treat that we do. Hey, hey! I'm not riding that thing. Didn't I tell you? I get crazy car sick. Oh, you do, do you? Welcome! What? Welcome to the main attraction of this amusement park, the Great Ultra Delicious Coaster. Hey, hey! Is it really true that we'll get a prize for riding this? Of course! Sure thing! What? What's the prize? No way! Oh well, no, that's a, a surprise for uh, you after uh, for after you ride this. This is bad. Hey, do we really have to ride this together? What are you saying? Didn't I tell you already? Are those ears for decoration? Shut up! Shut up! Oh, be careful, we're gonna get chewed. Uh, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> no, no, it's gonna be fine. Thrill rides are sweet. I already know. Everyone who likes them always says that, but I already know that they're, they're not fun at all. Even so. But there's still a possibility that the prize is going to be those ship parts, you know? Oh yeah, I forgot he mentioned that. I still don't believe him. Uh. I don't trust him one bit. Uh, that might be true, but... Um. Might I ask, where will this ride take us? No. I mean, probably in a circle, right? Uh, it won't take us anywhere. It's just going to circle around and come back here. Yeah, that's, that's what roller coasters do. Um. What is the meaning behind that? Some sick people get some uh, uh, amusement out of it. You fiend. You fiend, have you never gone to an amusement park? I'm guessing not. I am ashamed. I am embarrassed to say that we do not have these in my country. Fine. I see. I've only gone to an amusement park once during my childhood. Listen well. But it was an amusement park in hell, filled with man-eating demons. Of course it was. Huh? So Disneyland right now, I'm kidding. I've never been. I would love to go, but I've never been. Um, there are amusement parks in hell? Wow! I have never heard of such a thing. By all means, please allow me to accompany you next time. Oh, she was into that then. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> Don't do it, Miss Sonya. That guy's a habit of lying. <laughs> the entrance- Does he? Has Gundam lied? I can't remember. The entrance fee is the blood of a virgin. I shall offer up your blood as tribute. Oh! Oh! The sick bird! <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was good. Gundam, well played, sir. Well played. That is. Oh, shit. <laughs> I mean, I thought he was referring to Kazuichi, right? I think he was. Sonya. Okay, that's fine. You know, it's perfectly, perfectly acceptable. Uh, that is a shame. It seems my blood cannot be used as the entrance fee. What do you think about that, Kazuichi? Are you kidding me? <laughs> yep, I knew we'd have a reaction to that. Does that mean Miss Sonya? Hey. Hey, everyone. It's just going to be a waste of time if we stand around like this. See? Why don't we just try riding it? Okay, yeah, let's get on the roller coaster designed by this, the sentient motor bear. Great That's idea. obviously wrong. Hold, hold on. Why do we have to just try riding it? <laughs> Kumara, can I leave this to you? Understood. Leave it to me! Hey, 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 hey! Stop hey. it, stop it, please let me go! He's just. <laughs> I love that scream. He's just putting him on the roller coaster. Against his will. That is quite, quite awful. Despite his desperate struggling, Kazuichi got stuffed into the roller coaster. I mean, yeah, you're not fighting back against Neko. Now then! All aboard the Great Ultra Delicious Coaster! With Monokuma's shout, the roller coaster took off at maximum speed. Yeah. Wow. Little Neko at the back there, having the best time. Sonya's loving it. Chiaki looks quite content. Fiiko's having a good time. Kazuichi might be dying. And oh my god, Akane. Your top is, is the real MVP. Right. <laughs> You might do. What overwhelming G-force! It feels like all the screws in my body are gonna fly off! That would be unfortunate. Be still, my heart! Uh, even Gundam's getting a little bit affected by it. This is so much fun! I, uh, I'm gonna die! Right, 
<laughs> yes, indeed. All right, we've arrived. How was it? Wasn't that fun? So it's finally over. That was a little too intense. <laughs> hey, let's go. Yeah, I knew, she, I knew she'd be like, let's do it again. All right. And Sonya's so up for it. I agree. Once more. Stop it! No freaking way. Hey, hey. Hey, more importantly, where's our treat? Yeah, where is our treat? Pony up. Yes, indeed. Oh, yeah, right. Here you go. The treat is a file. Mmm. Huh? The symbol. Mmm. Same symbol that's on the door of the ancient ruin. If so, this file must be... a file from the Future Foundation. We will be able to find out who they are and uh, if we look at this. I mean, again, though, the fact that Monokuma's given us this willingly makes me wonder if it's going to be accurate or some sort of trick, but... Then again, Monokuma did say that he wasn't part of this group, right? Again, I, I am forgetting some details. Hey. Is it alright if I check inside? Here! Sure thing, do whatever you like! We gathered around Nagito as he received the file and started at, uh, stared at him intensely as he carefully turned the pages. I'm trying to see who's in those pictures. Is that... Is that the... the, the, the ca that is the cast of the first game. I think. I can see... I think I can see... I'm not sure. I... No, I think that's us, actually. Or maybe it's both of... I don't know. Let's... The mastermind behind the plan locked the students inside the academy and forced them to kill each other. Okay, that is talking about the first game. Yeah, 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 yeah. The students who were pushed to the limit eventually reached a state of heightened paranoia. And that's how the killing began. The killings committed by those students lasted several days. But at a certain point, the curtain suddenly fell. A group of students united and staged a counterattack against the mastermind, who paid with their life. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Right, right, right. We're, we're finally getting some info on the first game here. Uh, with this, the six students who survived were able to escape the academy. Oh yeah, I can't forget a hero freaking survived. Uh, and obviously, Bayakia, uh, Toko, uh, Hina, M Makoto, and Hyoko. Wait! Hey, aren't these photos on the left? Photos of the six people who survived? They sure are. Then what does this then what does this mean? Why is he in the photo? Yeah, Bayakia, you noticed, right? He's a little bit slimmer back then. I looked down at where Nagito was pointing. Oh, it's the, uh... It's the I've had an epiphany music. Uh... Okay. He was much thinner, as if he was an entirely different person, but he looked exactly like someone we knew. The ultimate affluent progeny, Bayakia Tagami. He looked exactly like him, the first victim on this island. What? What? This definitely looks like Bayakia. Impossible! Why is Bayakia's photo in here? Because he was he's been through he's this before. This what does this mean? Hey, 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 hey! Like, what's this killing school trip that they're talking about? Does it not ring like does it not seem strangely familiar to what you're going through, Kazuichi? Yep. Looks like the killings were involved, uh, in resemble this set of killings that happened before. I read that so weird. And that took place inside Hope's Peak Academy. Hey, bastard! Hold on, did these fucked up killings actually happen inside the Hope's Peak Academy? They sure did. It's obviously impossible! It's not possible, there's no way the teachers of the police would let that happen. Well, I think they were kind of busy with the whole world falling apart. Let me ask. However, what if the future Foundation, World Ender, was the one who initiated this? What? You mean that organization was the one who took over Hope's Peak Academy then? Of course not! That's not possible, how stupid. <sighs> if Bayaki was still alive, we would have been able to learn the details of this. I, I feel like he'd probably forgotten. I'm sure his memories of that had been removed, right? Although, I don't know, we never... I never got the feeling that he... Hmm, 
I don't know. Did he know? Did he remember? How unfortunate. However, however, we lost our memories, correct? That should have applied to Biaki as well. Yeah, but we only lost the memories of our time together, right? Unless, unless his memories of the first game were removed, which would explain the fact that he never mentioned any of it. Also, Bayaki never said a word about such a past actually existing. Yeah, he didn't. So either he was just hiding it from us, which I don't know why he would. Maybe, yeah, his memories were fucked with again. Let me tell it really you sucks this. to have a double memory wipe. Well, he was killed before he could. So he became the first victim before he could tell us about any of this. Hmm. Ah, perhaps that's what Bayaki was planning to talk to me about. Oh, shit. Yeah, he did say something, didn't he? Maybe he did know then. And he was waiting for the right time. Oh, we're having a flashback. Okay. See, this has been so long ago. I do not remember that. I cannot talk to others about my past. I suspect that my skeptical nature is partly to blame. Hmm. Yeah, because it does feel like he, he was acting in a very different way to the way he did in the first game. Probably because he thought maybe that would help him more. I don't know. Uh... Was he specifically referring to the killing school life? Hey. Anyway, as long as Bayaki is no longer with us, we have no choice but to ask Monokuma. I'm trying not to sneeze. How does the killing school life that occurred at Hope Speak Academy relate to this island? That is the question, isn't it? I'm so glad we finally got some, like, connection to the first game, because I was just, I've got so many questions. Hey, um... The only thing I can say is... It's true. All the answers are in your school memories that were taken away. You? Then give them back. Those memories... Give those back... Uh, give those back memories to us. Give those memories back to us. No, no. No, no. The Future Foundation took your memories, and I can't do anything about it in my current state. Okay. Impossible. So is that... Is Monami part of... I don't know, man. It's unforgivable. I'll never forgive those who try to trample hope. They should all be destroyed. Uh, this isn't making any uh, making sense again. How fucking annoying. Hey! Whatever, man. Just let me go back home. Where the hell are the ship parts? Who knows? Oh, who knows? They should be somewhere on this island. However... I have searched this island once through, but I did not find ship parts anywhere. Well, we couldn't get into the castle, could we? Maybe they're in there. Oh, and the funhouse. Oh, yeah. Uh... Yeah, the funhouse should still be left. This, too, must be the will of Carl Sauer. Based on what I've heard, it seems we cannot access it unless we all gather together, correct? Correct! Ding ding, correct! That's right, the treats you can't find yet are all hidden inside the funhouse. Hey! Then the ship parts should be there too, right? No, not just the ship parts, if he means all the treats. That also includes our Hope's Peak Academy student profiles. Which means a clue about my talent should be there too. It might be a trap. It probably is a trap. Uh, but... It's like we're already caught in a trap. Yeah, we're already a trap within a trap within a trap. Everyone, let's go. Let's try going to the fun house. However... I see. Is that really alright? The fun house is that creepy looking building, right? But we have no other choice. I mean, we might be able to obtain the ship parts if we go there. <laughs> Learn the secret of Hajime's talent, too. Yeah, you really want to know, don't you? I have a feeling that he already knows. And he's just fucking with me. Yep. Fine, I think we should listen to Hajime and head, head over to the funhouse as well. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you guys have decided. I can't wait! I can't wait! I have things to prepare, so I'll be going first. I'll see you later. Mm, I'm not really on board with this idea, but... Oh, well, if Chiaki's not on board with it, I'm not on board with it anymore. Fuck the funhouse. If everyone uh, says they're gonna go, I guess I have no choice. I guess I'll have to go with everyone. I shall engulf this world. Plunging yourself into a trap is an act of sheer madness. <laughs> That's what makes it truly interesting. Then it's decided. Maybe it's because we were shown a new mystery from that future foundation file, but I was panicking. I couldn't keep still after being forced to see some mysteries, uh, to see more mysteries that didn't make sense. I felt like I didn't even care if it was a trap. And because of that panic, I completely forgot. Monokuma's traps are always far beyond our imagination. I can completely forgot. I completely forgot about that. Oh, that's quite ominous. 
Too early for a cliffhanger, though, so we're gonna go to the fun house. Um, Chiaki, are you okay? Uh, well? Okay, you're saying the same thing. Is everyone gonna say the same thing? Oh! Leave Kazuichi to me. I'll make sure uh, to keep him in my clutches this time around as well. <laughs> oh, poor Kazuichi. Damn it! This ride is definitely better than the one from earlier, right? Yeah, I don't think this one's gonna be quite as scary, although... What do I know? Uh, if it's more intense than uh, that one was, it's it's definitely too scary for me. You big bloody blouse, you. Uh, Nagito. Now then. Let's hurry up and go. Looks like the answers you're looking for are where the train is headed. Um. Uh, this attraction is quite unsettling. I wonder if it's all right. Well, I don't know, but we're soon gonna be we're gonna be on track to find some answers. <clears throat> Gundam. <laughs> the matter, the action, the more interesting it is. Kane. Uh, that train, huh? I don't think it'll be as fun as the roller coaster. Aw. Huh. I guess whatever we find in the fun house will be worth it. You're feeling the excitement of this attraction, aren't you? Yeah, she's totally stoked. Fiko. This is bad. This is definitely a trap. Is it really okay if we jump in without even preparing? The only thing we can do is go, right? There's definitely something past that point. I mean, we could just walk along the tracks. But then I'd be scared of being run over by the train. Like you said, we don't have time to just stand and stare. No, we don't. Are there any dolls around? Any dolls? I feel like... I feel like the perfect place to put a doll would be on the Ferris wheel. And it would only be visible if you watch it all the way around, right? Should we just watch the Ferris wheel for a little bit? Because I think, if I was a game designer, I would put a doll on the ferris wheel. But maybe, maybe there's not. I don't know. I'm gonna... I'm gonna give it a couple of seconds. Anytime. It'd be funny if the doll is actually in view and I'm just not seeing it. Okay, I'm bored. Right, well, there's no doll there. Uh, let's go. Let's go on the train. I just need to get on this train, right? Well, there's really no need to be cautious. It's not like it's gonna speed up, drop, fly, or anything else. Hey! <laughs> I'm gonna believe you this time, so you better be telling the truth. All right! Let's go! Let's go! That's adorable. As soon as we stepped, uh, we all stepped on, the small train started slowly moving. And went inside the dim tunnel. Ladies and gentlemen, this train is heading toward the funhouse! Allow me to guide you all to the world of surprises on this train that runs toward glory! Please be careful of where you step. Also, it's dangerous to stand up all of a sudden. Okay, I mean, there is a... there is a canopy, though. Well, it's not like you have time to do that. What? What the hell? Are we being gassed? Is this gas? <sighs> This was definitely a trap. Hold your breath, guys. Wait, is, ne is Neko going to be affected by this? As soon as that white smoke surrounded us, our bodies started to feel soft like mollusks. Our brains felt like they were staring... Staring? Starting to melt into a puddle of mush. Just like my brain every day, then. Uh, and in the end, we lost consciousness. Oh, shit. Okay, that's very... Very pink. That's a lot of strawberries. Uh, oh god. When I woke up, I was someplace that didn't make sense. I was clearly... It was clearly a place I'd never seen before. Okay, some sort of play park. My sense of reality was still hazy. Oh, and there went gravity. I wasn't able to react right away. <clears throat> Hi, Neko. Where is this? I don't know. However, when I looked over at Nakumaru standing all tall... In a wide stance, my sense of reality felt even hazier. Oh, I slept good. Oh my. Uh, where are we? What? What the hell is this? Voices expressing surprise and confusion began to surround me, one after another. It seems the others have started to wake up as well. <laughs> Why was I sleeping at a place like this? It wasn't by choice, Chiaki. It wasn't by choice. 
Oh well, I should go back to sleep for a little longer. I'm telling you, man, me and Chiaki. That's uh, obviously wrong. No, don't. You seriously can't do that. What did you do to me? I assume that this was the gas's doing. You probably are right there. Damn uh, it. Uh, uh, Gundam, I need to call you Neko. That gas uh, we were forced to breathe right after the train started moving. It must have knocked us all out. And then we were brought here, huh? I see. In that case, this must be the interior of the funhouse. Yeah? Welcome! Welcome to Strawberry House! Strawberry House? Isn't this the funhouse? Yep. Of course it's the funhouse. Strawberry House is a part of the funhouse. Oh, there's gonna be more to it then. Great. A part, you say? Allow me to explain! Please do. This is Strawberry House in its entirety! Oh, God. Okay. You are currently at the indoor park located on the third floor. As you can see, there's a lot of playground equipment with strawberry designs. How fancy! Now then, next is second floor. There's a lounge that's perfect for freshening up, and I've prepared five guest rooms that are all lined up like BOOM! The guest rooms are divided up by quality grade. The deluxe room is soundproof and has excellent air. Okay, one of the murders is gonna happen in one of those rooms. It's gonna. It's all gonna. Is this where the chapter's gonna be? It's all gonna be in the fun house instead? The standard room may have uh, so so insulation, but it's still pretty decent. And the crummy room has severe airflow and draft problems. That concludes my explanation of the second floor. Wait, you said six rooms, but there's only. You only mentioned three. Last but not least, the first floor of the Strawberry House. This voice is... I am so not used to doing the... The voices. On this floor, there's a room called the Final Dead Room. And that's all like BOOM! You can enter the Final Dead Room at any time, but be extra cautious when you pick the difficulty setting. What? On the same floor, there's a hallway called Strawberry Hall. And when you pass through it, there's a truly strange enormous tower standing tall with a BOOM BOOM! Does it want me in its room? It's called Strawberry Tower. Please use your own two feet to get the feel for what the inside of Strawberry Tower is like. Hmm. And I thought the despair disease was weird. This concludes the tour, but I think it was difficult to understand with my wordy explanation. So you should all use your own two feet to explore the inside of the building. Hmm? That's all from me. Any questions? So many fucking questions. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, we have questions, obviously. What's this? Really, really? What's your question? Really? What do you yearn for? To bring us to a place like this, what are you planning to make us do this time? That's right. I have a lot of questions, but let's start with that one first. Hmm? I didn't explain it to you. <laughs> this is the motive this time. Mm-hmm. An escape game. I love escape route. Well, I've only done one, but it was really fun. Oh shit. Escape game. In other words, the concept of this, uh, uh, the concept this time is a closed circle within a closed circle. Like, like Hope's Peak Academy back then. This fun house is a completely closed space. I was thinking this is awful similar to that. Hey, um, there's only one way to get out of this closed space building. Viva killing! When the killing begins, I'll let you guys out when the next killing happens. Wow. So really, you're just rehashing the motive, the original motive from the first game. I'll let the escape begin! Well, shit. Oh, crud. Huh? What? What? What the fuck?! <laughs> yeah. Appropriate. Damn it! Can't get out of here till the next- the next killing happens. This is troubling. I knew this was a trap, but I never expected it to be so straightforward. Yeah. It is quite a... Compared to the previous motives that were always kind of like... Almost not subtle, but you know. This is just straight up... Yeah, if you don't get out of here... you ha To get out of here, you have to kill someone. Which is kind of like doubling down on the fact that we're already... In that position anyway. How foolish of me! If only I'd erected a magical, uh, magic barrier, I wouldn't have to, to breathe in that gas. Well, you know, coulda, woulda, shoulda. I let my guard down and ended up falling asleep. Hey! Yeah, that's what I thought, Kazuichi. Would gas even work on a robot? That's supposed to be when you make your move. Gas shouldn't pose a problem, but... 
If they activate my sleep mode, then I won't stand a chance. Oh. Huh? Sleep mode? Oh! That's right, it's cutting ed edge function that puts my other functions to sleep, even if I have insomnia. Just press the good night button on my back on the back of my neck and I'll be forced to enter sleep mode. Again, this is going to be super important. Maybe. What's the point of that function? Didn't I just tell you? It puts my other functions to sleep even if I have insomnia. So how do you wake up again then? Hey, hey. Do you even need to sleep? <laughs> in order to awaken from sleep mode, I just need to set the alarm in my chest. It's all possible with just one touch. Jeez. He's not even listening. How pitiful. He's giving us some pretty important information, I'm pretty sure. Um, he probably wants to live like humans as much as he can, such as this sad nature of robotic organisms. Man. At any rate, Monokuma sure stuffed him with a lot of useless functions. Um. Anyway, Mekumar, Mekumar, I love that she's using that. Must have lost consciousness because his button was pressed. Who pressed it? Damn it. Maybe Monokuma. Uh. What a blunder. He must have taken advantage of that white smoke and went around me. I'll never let that happen ever again. Or was it someone, or was it one of us? Maybe the traitor, who knows? Hey, hey. For now, why don't we look for the exit? But... Exit? Is there even an exit? I mean, there is. There's one, but we can't go through it until we kill someone, apparently. I mean, if there was, this wouldn't be a closed space, right? It'd make Monokuma's motive meaningless. Dumbass! What are you giving up for, dumbass? I mean, you totally would still try and find an exit, right? You wouldn't just take that as gospel. Uh, if we were brought inside this place, then there's definitely an exit out somewhere. Amazing! Oh, God. He's having a bit of a hope boner. A heart that refuses to give up until the very end. That must be hope. <laughs> yes, I understand. Then let's explore this, the inside of this building with that map we got. Well? But exploring on your own is too dangerous. It might be better if we team up with someone. Damn right. We should just all go around together. Oh. Why are you choosing a carne for you, Hiko? Huh? That, yeah, that is an unusual combo. <laughs> Could this guy be... Huh? It's nothing like that, idiot. There's just something I want to talk to her about. Care to share with the rest of the class? Uh, I don't mind. Whatever's fine. Wow. Well. Wow, when you two stand right next to each other, there's a notable... Ha you know what, Nagito? I noticed that back at the train, and I didn't mention it, because I'm pretty sure I've probably mentioned it before anyway, but, uh... Bastard! Yeah, if he goes... I mean, Akane's just really tall, but... You. If we're gonna go, let's hurry up and go. Damn right. Damn right. Let's... Yeah, okay. For those passing words, the two of them left the area. I still think it's a little bit unwise to split up at all. Miss Sonia! Uh, as much as that was Shiaki's idea. Uh, oh, yeah. Guess, guess who he wants to hang out with. However... Sonya already left with Gundam. Oh, no. Oh, my. Oh, my, indeed. Oh, I'm so sorry, bud. I'm so sorry. You got dumped. Of course not. Idiot, I didn't get dumped. Why would I get dumped? In fact, I'm really popular. That's obviously not true. Now then. I think it's time for me to get going too, so... <laughs> no. I'm going with Chiaki. Fuck off, Nagito. Fuck all the way off. Take a, sh a, a long walk off a short cliff. Huh? Me? Yep. Don't do it. I haven't really had a chance to talk to you, so I thought this would be a great opportunity. No. I refuse. For now. Then take me with you too. Three people is okay, right? I mean, I'd rather her not go alone with Nagito, so if you want to go as well, Kazuichi, you have my blessing. But I think she should come with me. Huh? That's fine, but... <laughs> oh, I get it. Kazuichi's trying to avoid Hajime. Why? Huh? Hey, hey, hey! What are you talking about? Avoid Hajime? It's nothing like that. Kaz Kazuichi's hung out with me tons of times. What do you mean? Well... Call it a hunch, but maybe Kazuichi can't stop thinking about it, you know? The possibility that you're the traitor. Oh, we still on that fucking bandwagon? What? <laughs> I was just... I just said what Kazuichi was feeling. I mean... Oh, shit, son. Well, throw me under the bus. Truth is, we don't know anything about you, so it's not my fault if I don't trust you. What does that mean? We've been together this whole time and you still don't know who I am? I mean, it's the whole we don't know who's ultimate is... That's obviously what? wrong! 
It's not like I know the real you. I mean, does anyone, any of us know the real us? Our memories have been fucked with. I mean, uh, yeah, the, the whole Mikan thing does does bring into question, I guess, but the real me. Huh? The only reason we're here is because you were the one who suggested we go to the funhouse, right? Uh, okay, so I'm to blame for this, am I? You saying I lure you guys here? Why would I do that? That's right. It's not that far-fetched, you know? Ah... Uh. I'm sorry, Hajime. I really don't want to. Uh, I really do want to trust you, hmm. but I just can't yet. Okay, fine, fine. That's why I'm going with Chiaki. It's not like I want to go with Nagito either. But you say Nagito is more trustworthy than me? What the hell? Damn it! Why did this happen? Yep. If that's the case, uh, it is what it is. Why don't you come along with us, Kazuichi? Okay, at least she's not alone with just Nagito. Still a bit not happy about this. Hmm. Uh, but. No, don't go. Stay with me. Yep. Oh, This fucking sucks. So am I going with Neko? Huh? Yep, I'm going with Neko. Hey, I'm okay with that, actually. You know what? That's fine. I would prefer Chiaki. But I guess we're the leftovers. Looks like we're not very well liked. Feels quite sad when you put it that way. <laughs> It's not like complaining about it will change anything. We're just a traitor and a robot after all. Don't call- I'm not the traitor! I mean, we- We don't actually know that for sure, though, but... Oh. That's right, my apologies. Well then, Hajime. Let's show everyone else the value of leftovers. Leftovers are really good at Pokemon games. Let's magnificently find the exit uh, with our very own hands. If we do that, it will solve everything. Couldn't you just, like, punch your way out of the wall or something? When people stop trusting you, it seriously sucks. It certainly does. Um, we're gonna la leave it there, guys. We're gonna leave it there. I think starting off exploring this fun house next time is probably a good way to go. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your patience. And holy crap, this just keeps getting weirder and weirder, and that is so very pink. Um, so we're gonna go explore the fun house with uh, Mecco, Mecca next time. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye for now. Dang, I'm